Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your June 2018 reading. Um, I want to thank you guys for those who have liked, shared, comment, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Head over to my website and book a reading. Um, you can send me an email if you have a question about the website, but you'll always be directed to the website. So, all information is below in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start with a five card advice spread. All right. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Okay. Six of Wands. Right where you are. That's where you are. You're at victory. Getting recognition, promotion, possibly at work or um, public recognition could be. Okay. Um, are you on your correct path? Uh, it looks like you are. The Ace of Pentacles just flew out of the deck. Definitely could be getting promotion, a new job, public recognition, just recognition for a new, a good job. Um, you could be popular in some sense. Um, may be making a large purchase, getting engaged, moving in with someone. What is your main obstacle here? If any, those two cards are really good. This is for the month of June 2018. Page of Pentacles. So the main obstacle may be either a younger or a more immature Virgo Capricorn Taurus. Um... Stability in something that you guys can grow upon can happen with this person, but they're at a, an immature state, so you just don't know if it will happen. Okay, and four, what is helping you? The fourth card, what's helping you? What's helping Virgo? Could be a Pisces, a Piscean person, or just someone being... You know, at the hangman status about things uh, in regards to um, making a decision. You're waiting for enlightenment. You you place yourself in that hangman status. You know, um, meaning you you've halted for forward movement for whatever reason. Typically, the reason is because. You're waiting for a, another piece of information. You're waiting for something else. Someone else. How can progress be made here? It looks, it looks really good. It looks like you want to offer something to someone. Or something's being offered to you. The tower. Okay. The two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. All right. Virgo, it looks like um, you might be juggling two situations, two people, two work situations. You may have two jobs, home and family, uh, family and work, uh, two people. Uh, this is also talks about the love affair or the business, um, the business deal or business opportunity that's not really favorable and we got two pentacle cards here I think you're waiting for more information you're really trying to get to a place of really trying to um, have great discernment about what to do it looks like the universe helps you out here with the tower card it might be in regards to a relationship four of wands your stability your home and the other woman or the other man okay we got the two of pentacles here there's definitely some virgos out there juggling two situations and then the devil could be capricorn or just being in a third party situation um addictions obsession surrounding your home and what you have established the ten of pentacles but there'll be some clarity some truth and clarity that comes out and cuts 
the energy you know it make when this truth comes it's a new start it's the ace of swords so it's a new start by way of truth and clarity so everyone involved or whatever who everyone involved sees differently that's why it's new you may choose just to you uh, some of you feel like you put in a lot of work in a situation and it's almost like for what you got a decision to make here you aren't making a decision but you're, you're looking backwards maybe at another person or another situation you, someone some of my Virgos are juggling you're looking at how much time and energy you invested somewhere does it reciprocate with the six of Pentacles? are you giving more than the other person is giving in this relationship should you just lay down the burden maybe with a fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo but some of you are still holding on still holding on still holding your cards close to your chest I think some of you have a plan of action right and then a high priestess holding on to the plan of action holding on to your secrets your your secret plans if any being defensive or maybe this Aries Sagittarius Leo person someone arising or someone's taking on that energy is being defensive toward someone who's coming up as king of cups scorpio pisces cancer feeling trapped maybe because there's children but needed to do research or someone spying because someone is being promiscuous and is worried about themselves and is in and out Aries Sagittarius Leo and which Virgo feels left out five of Pentacles could be dealing with the Sagittarius Gemini Aquarius Libra but definitely Gemini you need to make a final decision on this Virgo grieve the process of maybe a third party situation Someone will come in with a message, but it's like a conditional message. It's some, it's you know, it's not really, it's not selfless. You know, you've got to do something for them to move, and I think it takes you guys to the five of wands where you just argue. Someone's holding secrets. Someone's wanting to move away. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, offering their cups. Someone's not taken to it. There will be illumination in regards to someone walking away, emotionally checking out. And with someone, you know, it could be dealing with Aquarius too, could need to heal and get in control of yourself, your control of your emotions. There's some really heavy arguing. Could be with a Cancer. The Nine of Swords is here. You don't. And then the Page of Cups. Somebody's wanting to be single here. Yeah. Also, this is the business business opportunity too. Someone's really um, contemplating that. Should they partner? I didn't see the Three of Pentacles, but should they accept a proposal of some sort? Let's see if we can gather some career. And finance messages. Career and finance messages for Virgo. Career and finance messages for Virgo. True, accurate messages from Virgo. Oh, 
Right. Career in finance. Jack of Spades, King of Wands or King of Clubs, Queen of Clubs, Queen of Hearts, Four of Spades. Alright, so fire, water, air. I don't see you here, Virgo. You could be sun, moon, rising, fire, air, or uh, fire, air, water. This is typically cancer. We got two counterparts here. And then a jack of spades. Some of you could be walking away from a jack of space. Some of you could be having visitors in your home. Ace of Diamond again. Jack of Club. The Jack of Spade plays many faces. You know, this is the actor. They can be whatever it is you need to be there. Jack of all trade, you know. Um, you could be thinking about self-employment here with the king of club and then the ace of pentacle you might have a helpful reliable friend you may even be surrounded by entrepreneurs what's the king queen of hearts king of diamond some of you have water in your chart some of you are pursuing a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who may, who you might be, or someone who takes on that energy. We might be um, separated from, but you feel like this is your soulmate. And you're holding on to them very closely. There might even be some good Samaritan luck here, some good luck. That brings you a large sum of money to where you can start to really take entrepreneurship um, seriously. Could be separated from soulmate or needing to separate, but holding on with someone wanting to be single. Could be a Gemini. Aquarius, Libra, but typically Gemini. Six of Diamond, a payout. Could be also problems in your second relationship or second marriage. Virgo, uh, too many people. Too many people. Make a decision. What are you doing? There's some additional advice cards. Three additional advice cards for Virgo. Get some rest. We did have the Nine of Swords. Relationship dynamics. Wow. The bottom of the deck changing your mind. Get some rest. Relationship dynamics. Healthcare change. Leaving. Changing your mind. All right. So, of course, that's self-explanatory. Get some rest. Everyone needs to rest. Uh, you make better decisions when you're well rested. Relationship dynamics. Someone has entered, exited a relationship to where now your feelings are heightened or you, you're more aware of how you feel either around this person or without this person. Um something has shifted the dynamics of a specific and very important relationship in your life and you need to explore the shift the change health that could be anybody uh, mother-in-law father-in-law um, brother sister cousin um, third party situations so you know now you have two people Healthcare change, of course, self-explanatory. Get a second, third opinion. Um, if you're going through any type of healthcare issues, um, don't just rely on one. Yes, sometimes we can get so comfortable 
and going to physicians because we feel as if they know more than us this is their area of expertise but it's n no shame and and uh it doesn't it shouldn't bring any um negativity to your physician or, or any tension there if you do decide to go get a second or third opinion okay leaving some of you you know this is plain and simple leaving a job leaving a relationship um leaving home uh is graduation and summer's here some of the children are coming back so they're leaving school and going back home for the summer you know leaving whatever your situation is if you were thinking about leaving the cards say yes leaving changing your mind you thought you had your mind made up about a situation but something comes in i think when you explore these relationship dynamics then you say okay this is where i am i was here but now i'm here all right virgo request a personal reading get a 15 dollar three card three question reading i am going to shut those down i have i had an overwhelming response to it um, i'm happy that it was able to help a lot of people out go over to the website book there go to book online thought-based approach drop down go to video readings scroll down to the 15 dollars special all right choose to fund the page click the gofundme link in the description box um, follow me on instagram insta go ask a question or two there virgo remember when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care take care guys i will talk to you in mid-june